Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome this and I'm just about to go to the Opera House up in Sydney for a night with id Software, uh, creators of the game Rage and all the other great games that they've created. Um, but I thought I would do this video because I've been meaning to do this for a while. Um, a lot of people, as soon as we saw the Modern Warfare 3 trailers, everyone's like, oh it's exactly the same as Modern Warfare 2, it looks exactly the same. Shut the fuck up laptop, not in the mood. Um, and, you know, all those kind of stuff. And I would like to say that I don't care that it looks exactly the same as Modern Warfare 2, but here's what I have issue with. With every Call of Duty now, I think the key is making it last till the next Call of Duty. And um, no matter what, you have to say that despite the fact that um, Black Ops looks like World at War, or World at War looks like Black Ops, and COD 4 looked like... Sorry, World at War looked like COD 4, and Modern Warfare 2, da 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 you have to admit that they had all these differences, no matter what, that made them different from the last Call of Duty. Even though that they had the same play style, because Call of Duty is now known for its arcade, uh, quick, fast-paced style, it definitely changed. And from Call of Duty 4 to World at War, I think, is a great example of that. Sure, it looked exactly the fucking same. World at War was a little bit darker in both theme and, and graphics. Um, but they definitely played a lot different. Call of Duty 4 was, um, you know, it was a, a really fast-paced modern shooter and World at War was kind of a medium to slow-paced World War 2 shooter. And it wasn't just the setting that differentiates them, but the problem that Modern Warfare 3 is going to have is holding the people for the next Call of Duty. And I think that's what Activision do very well, is that they say, well, we're going to keep you on this Call of Duty until this Call of Duty comes out, and then we're going to keep you on that Call of Duty until this Call of Duty comes out. So it's not the fact that they look the same, because, I mean, Modern Warfare 2 looked great. It was just the gameplay that was hor that was terrible, and I have no faith in Infinity War to fix that, but we'll have to wait and see. And games like Assassin's Creed, I think, prove that even if the game looks the same, because Brotherhood, let's face it, all the Assassin's Creed look pretty much identical. Assassin's Creed 2 has to be one of my favourite games of all time, and Brotherhood was my game of the year last year. So despite the fact that they look the same, you can add all these different features and it can play different. That's what Modern Warfare 3 is going to have. Because look how many people got burnt out on Modern Warfare 2. Look how many people got burnt out, especially I got burnt out on Black Ops. And I'm like, this Call of Duty is just Call of Duty now. And they seem to be sticking too much to the same formula instead of trying to differentiate. And then I realised, you know, Black Ops is a lot different than Modern Warfare 2 and all these other kind, of, and then I started to enjoy it more. But Modern Warfare 3 is going to have the problem where it looks the same, it plays the same, it probably will be a glorified expansion pack, and there's nothing wrong with that. But a lot of people are going to get really burnt out really quickly and then move over to Battlefield or Mass Effect or whatever else is coming out. Which is good, so people can experience much better games, such as, you know, if, if all you're buying this year is Call of Duty, don't. Buy Skyrim. That looks amazing. I watched 20 minutes of that yesterday, and I'm amazed. It's a serious my game of the year contender. I didn't have it in there, but now it definitely is. Get Uncharted. Get Saints Row, Assassin's Creed. These are all amazing games you should definitely check out over Call of Duty. Um, but like I said, that's the problem. It's not the problem that it looks the same. And sure, they've added new maps, new guns, but trust me, it will play exactly the same as Modern Warfare 2, which is bad. Sure. The Call of Duty play style, or the way that Call of Duty plays, really hasn't changed because it's a you know adrenaline junkie, fast-paced first-person shooter. But they all play differently, and if you've played them all, you would understand that. But a lot of people that came in on Modern Warfare 2 probably wouldn't understand how different Modern Warfare 2 was from COD 4. And I have to credit Infinity Ward again because the transition from Call of Duty 4, the graphics, the look, the gameplay. Sorry, not the gameplay, um, the, the feel of the game was a tremendous overhaul. And I think that that's what people were expecting with Modern Warfare 3. They're like, well, if you turned... Like, if you go back to Modern Warfare 2, play that for an hour, and then go to COD 4 for an hour, it looks so different, it's not funny. And looks don't make a game, but they can definitely help. And I think, again, where the problem lies is people expect too much. And, you know, it'll play the same, it will be the same game, and a lot of people get burnt out on it extremely quickly. So until next time, I'm going to leave your thoughts. I'm out. Have a good one. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Au revoir.